Sviatopolk I Vladimirovich, Sviatopolk the Accursed, the Accursed Prince, Old East Slavic, Comma Svetopilku, Ukrainian, Semicolon Russian, Comma Sviatopolk, c. 980 to 1019, was the Nias, Prince, of Turov, 988 to 1015, and Vlachi Nias, the Grand Prince, of Kiev, 1015 to 1019, whose paternity and guilt in the murder of brothers are disputed. Sviatopolk's mother was a Greek nun captured by Sviatoslavai in Bulgaria and married to his lawful Aeropolk I, who became Prince of Rus in 972. In 980, Europolk's brother Vladimir had him murdered, and the new sovereign raped his predecessor's wife, who soon gave birth to a child. Thus, Sviatopolk was probably the eldest of Vladimir's sons although the issue of his parentage has been questioned. When Sviatopolk was eight years old, Vladimir put him in charge of Turov and later arranged his marriage with the daughter of the Polish king Bolslaus I. The young princess came to Turov together with Rainburn, the bishop of Kolobzug. Dissatisfied with his father and encouraged by his own wife and Rainburn, Sviatopolk began preparations for war against Vladimir probably counting on support from his father-in-law. Vladimir soon discovered Sviatopolk's intentions, however, and threw him, his wife and Rainburn in prison. Rainburn died in prison. Biography according to domestic sources. Not long before Vladimir's death, Sviatopolk was freed from prison and sent to govern the town of Vishkorod several miles from Kiev. When Vladimir died in 1015, Sviatopolk's retinue concealed his father's death from him to prevent him from claiming the Kievan throne. When Sviatopolk learned his father's demise, he seized power in Kiev almost immediately. The citizens of Kiev did not show much sympathy for Sviatopolk and, therefore, he decided to distribute presents in order to win them over. Then, he decided to rid himself of his brothers, Boris, Gleb, and Sviatoslav whose claims for the Kyivan throne threatened his power. Boris presented most danger to him because he had been in charge of Vladimir's Drazina, personal guards, and army, and enjoyed the support of the citizens. He sent the boy Ars of Vishkorod to execute his brother. Boris and his manservant were stabbed to death when sleeping in a tent. The prince was discovered still breathing when his body was being transported in a bag to Kiev. But the Varanans put him out of his misery with the thrust of a lance. Sviatopolk's cold-blooded reprisal earned him the nickname of the Accursed. The news of this triple murder reached Sviatopolk's younger brother Yaroslav, Prince of Novgorod, who decided to go to war against Sviatopolk with the support from the citizens of Novgorod and the Varanans. The battle took place in 1016 not far from Lubk near Dnieper River. Sviatopolk was defeated and fled to Poland. In 1018, he returned to Rus, defeated Yaroslav with the help from his father-in-law and seized Kiev. Bolslaus I and his army remained in Rus for several months, but later left for Poland. On his way to Poland, Bolslaus seized some of the Chervan towns. Meanwhile, the Bozadnik Konstantin Dobrinich and other citizens of Novgorod persuaded Yaroslav to go to war against Kiev once again. Sviatopolk was defeated and fled to the steppes. Soon he returned with the Pekhanag army and attacked Yaroslav on the Alta River, but was once again defeated and fled to Poland, eventually dying on his way there. Sviatopolk's death could have been procured by a descendant of Valuk conqueror, Wallachstux Windorum who in 1018 helped him and his stepfather Bolslaus I in expedition against Yaroslav. During the last century, the traditional account of Sviatopolk's career has been somewhat modified. It has been argued that it was Boris who succeeded Vladimir in Kiev, while Sviatopolk was still in prison. One Norse saga called Yerman's Saga, a part of Yggvar's saga Vithfola, with remarkable details, puts on Yaroslav the blame of his brother Borislav's murder. This Borislav, however, may be Sviatopolk, whose troops were commanded by the Polish king Bolslaus I. The latter name is also rendered as Borislav in some sagas, as well as Boris. Therefore it has been suggested that Sviatopolk ascended the throne after Boris's assassination and tried to fence off Yaroslav's attacks as well as to punish his agents guilty of Boris's murder. The Chronicle of Thutma of Merseburg, who died in 1018, 
could have been regarded as the only contemporary and unbiased account of events, if it were not for the fact that Thitmer's data could have been supplied by Sviatopolk himself during his brief exile at the Polish court. Unfortunately it can be interpreted ambiguously as far as the question of Sviatopolk's guilt is concerned. One place in his chronicle can be understood, although this is not necessary as telling that Sviatopolk escaped from Kiev to Poland immediately after his father's death, but that mistakes that Bolslaus I of Poland firstly supported his son-in-law against Yaroslav in 1017, which is the date, according to the Russian primary chronicle, of Sviatopolk's first defeat by Yaroslav. Preparing a campaign against Kiev, Bolslaus abruptly stopped a successful war against the German Emperor Henry II. So. It is unlikely that Sviatopolk had been present at his court since 1015, which is often supposed by the historians that consider Yaroslav guilty of Boris and Gleb's murders. 